Hi, Henning Pauli again. Um, I just finished writing the uh, actual solo for the song that um, I showed you the uh, interlude part from. Um, actually a little bit easier than the other part and more melodic. So, in case you're interested, watch, learn, take with you whatever you want. Primarily this is a good um, way for me to actually remember what I did myself because usually when I have to play these songs sometime in the future I have no idea what I did and I've got to figure them out just like they were someone else's tunes and I'm um, kind of annoying sometimes so I gotta keep some kind of notes on what I did and so this is actually a good way to do it and accessible anywhere in the world so I hear this YouTube thing kinda of cool um, so what am I doing? well here come the chords very quickly D major, G5 or G major, A sus4, B minor. So it's 1, 4, 5 sus4, 6. And then again, 1, 4, 5 sus4, and then 5. Nice chord hanging over to the 6 where it's going. Nice bass interlude. Okay, um, listen. Okay, on to showing you what I actually played there. Got a very scratchy sound, lots of high end, um, kind of annoying. Not the sound I would usually use, but for that kind of tune it works. Um, I'm coming in with an uh, upbeat uh, on the... Wait. On the three of the measure, um, playing uh, the diminished arpeggio again, which in this case is... Uh, sixth position, one, uh, uh, one four, uh, so it's six and nine. Then middle finger, stretching the first finger to the fifth position, and the fourth finger is playing the eighth fret. Oh my God. And back, chromatically up. On the F sharp, which is a third of the D, so that's actually the downbeat. That's actually the note I'm targeting. So, okay, and then I'm playing. I'm forcing myself to be more creative with the um, open strings, and why not play an A there because it's a fifth of the chord that we're on. So it's. And then we go directly into an a, a G, D major arpeggio. That's our target note. D major, just like in the other solo. Right out of the B minor or D, minor, uh, D major pentatonic. So if you can play the pentatonic, you need probably play this. So we end up on the G. Why? Well... That's what we're ending. Then a nice trill. Again. With a pull-off. And a slide up. 
Four. Then we actually just go down an A arpeggio throwing in the 11. So, okay. The B minor. It's a pedal tone lick. I slide into the F sharp. And I play the F sharp as my pedal tone. Okay, so I play the, the first two notes, which is the B and the C sharp, has have two F sharps in between, which actually coincides with the rhythm Klaus is playing on the kick drum and the and the uh, cymbals. Single note. F sharp again our target note. Okay. So and then actually the exact same thing I did here. We play an octave up. So the whole theme moves up an octave, starting on the, my god, what is that, 17th fret. Second finger, the trill again. Exactly what we did here. Sharp, which leads us to the five of the B minor. So, sorry again. shredding here but works and outlines the chords which is why it's melodic always think about the chords okay hope you have fun okay the sound we have here is the igniter again not quite as much gain look at the mid they're definitely up because it's a solo sound. You want your mids up on the solo. We don't need bass. But to give it this creamy, kind of nice game, I have the SD1, which is, well, basically kind of a tube screamer. Only cheaper, and people say, well, not quite the same thing. Well, I don't care. All it does is it makes it even more midsy and gives it, well, slightly more gain. Doesn't really matter too much what the settings on the damn thing are. Okay, 